In this lab, you'll be dissecting kidney and making external and internal observations of anatomical structures. The first external structure you have to identify is the renal capsule, which is the outer covering of the kidney. The next external structure is the hilum, which is the indentation where vessels either enter or exit the kidney. Entering the hilum is a small blood vessel called the renal artery. Notice that the renal artery has a small diameter, but a thick wall. Also at the hilum is another blood vessel. This blood vessel exits the kidney. This blood vessel is called the renal vein. Notice that the diameter of the renal vein is much larger than that of the renal artery. Also, if you look at the wall of the renal vein, the wall of the renal vein is much thinner than the renal artery. And finally, the last structure located at the hilum is the ureter. The ureter transports urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. Before you can begin your observations of the internal structures of your kidney, you're going to take your scalpel and you're going to make an incision as deep as you can beginning at one end of the hilum. Continue your incision all the way around the kidney to the other end of the hilum. Next, carefully pry apart your kidney and make incisions using long strokes. Continue making long incision strokes all the way through the renal pelvis. When you reach the ureter, carefully cut the ureter into two equal halves. Once you have two halves of the kidney, each half of your table should now have a half of a kidney to begin the observations of internal structures. From a mid-sagittal view, this is the hilum, the renal artery, the renal vein, and the ureter. The outer layer of the kidney is called the renal cortex. The inner layer of the kidney is called the renal medulla. The dark structures within the renal medulla are called renal pyramids. And in between renal pyramids are renal columns. At the end of a renal pyramid is the renal papilla. After the renal papilla are the minor calyx. Merging minor calyces forms the larger structure called the major calyx. And finally, all major calyces merge to form the renal pelvis.